In the town of Borodyanka, on the outskirts of Kyiv, 79-year-old Maria Vasilyenko remembers the day her world was turned upside down. What's a bomb? This 500 kilogram bomb fell on the corner of the house. We were sitting there, and then as soon as the bomb hit, the sand started falling on our heads. Days after Russia began a full-scale attack on Ukraine, Russian soldiers approached this small community en route to the country's capital. On March the 1st, they unleashed devastation. My children were buried in the basement. Not only my children, but other people were killed there. The pipes were broken. The basement was full of water. Five of her family, along with scores of others here, perished in the destruction. Maria was in the building when it happened, but miraculously survived, along with her grandchildren. She and her family had lived here since 1986, the same year the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, less than 100 kilometers away, exploded. She lived in this apartment just a few doors down from her daughter and son-in-law and their two children, Mikita and Milana. Her key still works. Intact on the wall of her kitchen, wallpaper reading home is where your family is. Despite the decades of happy memories here though, like so many others in this war-torn country, her life is now nothing but sadness. There was a playground here. We used to put up a Christmas tree on New Year's Eve, dress up the children. It was lovely. Maria is just one among a countless number of people who have lost loved ones during this war. While the tragedy of the thousands of civilians that have been killed is overwhelming, for those that survive, living on through this conflict brings with it additional pain and hardship. Now Maria lives in a tiny prefabricated set of rooms partially funded by Polish aid. She shares one with another woman. Ukraine is struggling to help the huge number of people who, like Maria, have lost everything. She gets by on a state pension, barely enough to feed her. Some days, she told us, she doesn't eat. The rest of the time she spends with other friends nearby who survived, remembering what had been a life filled with love and joy. Here is my granddaughter, this is my granddaughter now. Here she is, here, the daughter, here's a couple of them, there. The United Nations estimates some 10,000 Ukrainian civilians have been killed in two years of war. It's thought at least another 7,000 are missing. While the numbers pale in comparison to the deaths of soldiers fighting on the front line, the human cost of this war is being felt across the country. I cried for a month and a half before they dug them up from the rubble. I'd hoped they were alive, but they were not. I can't live through their death. With little prospect of peace, more death and pain for people here seems inevitable.